Good morning, greetings, salutations, YouTube. Welcome to another episode of the vlog. Happy Thursday. Uh, I just got the kids ready, like, fed, and then my mom dropped them off to go to school today. I didn't drop them off, which is nice. And I am in my room trying to figure out what I'm going to do first. So, um, I... I'm gonna wait for mom to get back before um, start breakfast. So we're gonna eat something. But right now, I think I'm gonna just take photos of some bags and list them up in the shop. Uh, mom made lugao, which is like almost like a porridge, porridge. chicken, yeah, rice, some fried garlic, and some hard boiled egg. Looks delicious. Hey guys, what's up? I am. What am I doing right now? I just showered, dried my hair, and I'm looking at. This little vignette and I cannot be kind of like more obsessed with it it's like making me so happy I'm so happy that I found that mirror oh so happy so excited um, but it is a beautiful day outside and I wanted to show you guys how pretty it is it's like so nice I'm feeling so much better today too as far as like being sick goes, like I've only coughed like a handful of times this morning and I am beyond the moon. It's super warm today. It's only getting warmer. Saturday is supposed to be almost 80 degrees, I think. So that's very exciting because Saturday we're going to go thrifting. So I'm very excited about that. Um, what else is I going to tell you guys? I think that's it for now. Oh, let me show you guys this too. So, Aphrodite changed her hairdo. She right now has this gorgeous, um, what are these things called again? Staghorn fern. Love. She still has like her mane of like, um, Spanish moss. Loving that. And, oh, if you guys remember this telephone, it's like, Still making me so happy. I'm so glad that I found this at the Goodwill too. They have the best stuff there. Like literally, amazing. Like everything here is from is from the Goodwill, with the exception of the side table and that pillow. So like that whole little vignette, this whole vignette, everything here is thrifted. Um, the pots, the duck, the like the cast turtle shell. Not the little bell though. That's from when I worked at Pottery Barn, which is one of my favorite things in the world. Eliza also is quite in love with that thing. It's so cool. Um, oh, and another thing. I know a couple of you guys have asked about the books, about why they're turned around. Um, is it because so like you don't see the titles? I did this for, it's kind of like an aesthetic thing. Um, kind of just like to have more continuity and color. Um, I'm probably going to switch it all back around pretty soon but I just thought it was really fun having them like that um yeah it's just kind of like a look I was going for I guess um and I'll probably be turning it around like within the next few weeks I think um once I switch out the rest of the decor probably when I switch out the pillows um I think I want to make this room a little different so I'm going to switch out a couple things in here and right now it's like kind of like a neutral palette everything's kind of like gray and green and silver and black and I think I want to make it pop a little bit more for spring especially because this is our first spring with the pergola and then this whole room kind of opens up to this one and I just like that transition that feel of like inside outside so yeah and oh I really am liking those, um, forgot what those trees are called, but they're like, not spruce, but something. But I'm loving them so far at being out here. Um, it's funny because they have glitter on them and I haven't washed it off yet. I was hoping the rain would do it for me, um, because they are like were sprayed with glitter for Christmas. And Zach thinks they're like magic trees because he sees them like glittering out here and it's really cute. Um, but... This is how the outside is looking so far. Oh, and a couple of you guys messaged me about how, like, the outside rug is here when it rains. Because when it rains, this all gets wet because this isn't covered. Um, in the other room, it's completely covered and the carpet never gets wet at all. Um, the carpet is awesome. It just dries up really quickly. And, yeah, I haven't had, like, any problems with it at all. Um, 
I just vacuum it like a normal carpet. I kind of sweep the leaves and stuff off of it, then I vacuum it, and then it's good to go. So, um, it has, I, ha I, I have noticed that parts of it have kind of like faded, though I don't really mind too much. Um, before it was more apparent, and I think now, like with continued sun exposure, everything's kind of like faded to the same color again, which is nice. And, oh, this, uh, this little plant right here, um, the flowers like all fell off i don't know how they were just on the floor and then mom stuck them in here for some reason they look like they're still alive and they've been in here for a little while which is kind of cool hopefully i don't know normally it's these things like the green leaf parts that are supposed to grow um but i don't know we'll see what happens and i couldn't be more obsessed with these guys they are looking so beautifully can't wait for the day that they just like drape down even more beautifully and dramatically um yeah <laughs> that's the update right now with the plants you guys they're working on the fountain right now i'm so excited hi lizo we're gonna go check out the fountain wow look at that fountain it's very fountainy <laughs> this is not even <laughs> being very fountainous right now Alright you guys, just got inside the car. It is like pretty warm right now. It's 73 degrees and I'm in the shade and the car is like really hot. And in the sun, it's like pretty warm, which is really nice. So I'm very excited about that. I got um, some packages right there to mail out. So we're gonna go to the post office, then um, probably hit up the Goodwill really quick and then head back home. Um, and yeah, oh, we're gonna go to the mailbox too. We need to get my mail. Just made our way to the post office. Just got to the Goodwill. Today's all our Thursday too, but didn't see anything good yesterday that I wanted to try and get today. So we'll just see if they have anything new. Looking through the handbags, everything looks pretty picked over as far as handbags go. Um, everything is pretty much stuff that I've seen already and have been here. They still have this Brighton, but that one's expensive. I wonder what this is. Call it spring. I've seen a couple of those call it spring bags. There's another one on the other side too. Oh, this one's a fossil. Kind of like a drawstring type bag. Let's see how much this is. $12.99. That's not horrible for a fossil, but this is definitely an older style. Think about it. Let's see what else we have here. What is this? It's kind of interesting. Tommy Hilfiger. There's a guest bag. Kenneth Cole. Ooh, studs. What is this? MG collection. That's his brother. You guys, how cute is this? This would have been really cute for Valentine's Day. That was yesterday. But this is only 10 bucks. It looks pretty well made. Oh my god. I just found the swan of my dreams. It's $7.99. I can put a plant in here. Girl. The possibilities are endless. It doesn't have any make or anything. Let's make sure it's not broken. Checking out the frames right now. There's this painting, 20 bucks. It looks almost like a Monet maybe, but I don't know. Who knows? We used to have so many floral paintings in our house. They're all in storage right now. I kind of want to take them out. I always look at this painting. I think it's so fun. It's a green tag. I can't wait for it to go on sale because then I would totally get it. I'm trying to wait to see what the sale is going to be this weekend. <gasps> Why did we used to have these but in peach? They're 50 bucks. They're so expensive. These are like touch lights. Like you touch them and then they turn on. Ooh, a chandelier thing. 30 bucks. Oh, they have these like, I forget what these are called, but you like, you hang these on the wall and the plants grow on them. There's like a bunch of them too, they're only five bucks. Huh. 
I wonder if mom wants some of these. All right, you guys, I'm inside the car now. I didn't get anything. Can you believe that? Um, there was nothing really that I really wanted other than the swan. But then I was thinking, where am I going to put this giant swan inside this house? And then I was like, well, obviously everywhere. But it was $7.99 and I was like, hmm. And maybe if it was like a different animal, like a really cool one, like maybe like a llama or like a monkey. Like swans are really cool. But like I already have like my small swan planter and I didn't want anyone to really overshadow him because like he's a really jealous little swan. So I decided to just leave it for right now. Think about it. We're going to ruminate. Um, let me know what you guys think. Let me know down in the comments below whether or not I should go back and get him. Because if you guys love him, then I might have to go back and get him, right? So um, <laughs> I'm just like trying to justify buying this planter um but it's really cool it's a real it's it's cute it's big and i don't know i don't know anyway uh, i didn't get anything but i'm gonna have an unboxing for you when we get home because i do have a little package una pajeta 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 i don't know i don't know how to say it in spanish something <laughs> but we're gonna open it up when we get home i'm super excited so let's go home Okay guys, so I'm back inside my room and I just had dinner. We ate spaghetti, it was delicious. And now I wanted to do this unboxing and I am super duper excited, but now I have to change the battery really quick. Hold on a second. All right, you guys, so here we are and I am super excited to open this up. Um, this is another item that I won on eBay. And as you can see from the size of the package, it's not very big, both of my hands kind of like fit over the entirety of the box. And I am just super excited to open up this baby and see what it is um well i know what it is but i'm super excited to open it and see it for the first time with you guys so um opening it up oh they put it inside oh it's like double wrapped flat rate envelope hey that actually works out is this a flat rate mailbox oh no it's not anyway um let us open this up. I'm so excited. Okay. So this um this is something that I got on eBay. Um it was not actually a like it wasn't on bidding. Um I actually got this um via making an offer and then um the seller and I kind of went back and forth a couple times before um, they decided to accept my offer. So, here it is. Ooh, okay, so it's inside here. Let me put everything over here. Let's open this up. Oh my gosh! It's even cuter than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, so, this is what I got. It is so stinking cute, you guys. I am literally dying a thousand deaths. Like this is like the size of my hand. So this is a t um a tiny. It's like a Fendi, like the tiniest Fendi, um like the mini or micro. Um, it's supposed to come with a cross, or it's supposed to have a crossbody, but the crossbody did not come with this particular piece. It didn't. Um, the I guess like the seller lost it. But this thing is so stinky cute. This is the front because this is the part that actually opens up. Now this is an authentic, um Fendi. Like, little mini. I forgot what the name, like, the exact name is. But, oh my gosh, you guys. It's so stinking cute. I probably have to zoom in more. So you guys can see, like, even, like, how, exactly how cute it is. So, this front part actually does open up. Like, it has, like, the little clasp opens and everything. There's two card pockets in there. Oh, it's so stinking cute. You can actually use this as a charm or like a like on your bag this opens up and then you can like put it on something um, and you can carry it like this in your hand. You can attach a crossbody strap to it. Um, this part in the back doesn't actually buckle. This just opens up like that. So then that's just like another open little thing. There's a little Fendi tag with all the info and stuff on it. You guys, I am literally dying so 
much right now. This is so stinking cute. Oh, oh my gosh. There's a little Fendi made in Italy, a little placard. Okay, you guys, this is just so stinking cute. Um, for, like, size reference, um, I do have that tiny little, um, this is my little Balenciaga. Now, this one is also, like, an authentic little Balenciaga that I got. I purchased this off of someone on Mercari, is where I believe I got this. I think it was Mercari. Um, so this is definitely smaller than this. Um, and this holds a ton. This actually holds a lot of stuff inside of it. Now, this... Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. Let me zoom out so we can, like, be cutified about how this little guy looks. So, if I had, like, if I had my little, or my big Fendi right here, and then I can just, like, kind of attach this onto it. Like, it's like a little baby. Why can I not open this? Oh... Oh no, oh no. This is like literally the cutest thing. Look at that. It's like, oh, it's like a kangaroo. Or like maybe like a koala, or like the bull koala babies. Like, hang on to the moms. Oh, how cute is this, you guys? Okay, this is so stinking cute. I am like really, really, really excited about this purchase. Now, I was like a little hesitant at first because this was a little bit on the pricier side of like something that I would pay for something this big, but I just love my Fendi Peekaboo so much that I had to get this. Um, and again, another size reference, um, I have my Givenchy, um, this is my, <coughs> excuse me, the Pandora pouch, and it's definitely a lot smaller um, than the than the Pandora. So it's a nice like median between these two. Um, I just love like a small bag, like the smaller. Like I love to love small bags or like huge ginormous bags, and this is so cute, and it will hold. So much. I wonder if... No, this won't fit in here. Okay, it doesn't actually fit. I wonder if, like, I can just, like, scoot it into maybe the back. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? Oh, you guys. Like, be still my beating heart. This is the cutest thing ever. Now, I thought that... The Balenciaga was super cute, and I thought the Givenchy was super cute, but, like, I'm sorry. This is, like, probably one of, like, the super cutest things ever. Ugh. So cute. It's so I You know, I actually had no clue how tiny this little bag was actually going to be. Um, I actually, like, want to kind of try out my stuff in here, so... Um, I would probably put this, like, extra battery in the back right there. And then see, like, what... Like, let's see if all the stuff that I actually have inside this little pouch is going... Where are my keys? Is going to fit, like, all the stuff I would normally put in here. So this is, like, all the stuff I would normally have inside, um, here. And let's see how it fits inside of this guy. Like, I wonder if my card holder will fit in here nicely without... <gasps> oh, and it fits perfectly inside. I don't think I'm going to be able to get my keys in there. And I don't think I'm going to be able to get the clay in there. But I think I'll be able to fit that in there. And then, like, maybe the car keys. Oh, my gosh. You guys. It fits. It's so... It's like... It fits in my hand like that, and it's so soft, and it's so amazing, and I'm really, like, I'm just dying. I'm so excited, and I'm probably sure you guys are like, Hadrian, calm down. Like, what are you even thinking about buying this crazy thing? And, like, I'm so sorry, but I just had to. This is so stinking cute. The leather feels amazing. I do want to condition it up, though. 
because um, it does feel like it's been used a lot and then it definitely needs some moisture added back in. I don't know, it just has like a feel, you know, of when something feels a little dry. But I love it, it actually holds a ton. You saw what I was able to fit in there. Um, it does hold a lot. Look how look how nice and shiny that looks once um, you get some conditioner on there. And it is gonna mattify a bit down once um, once it dries, but it definitely brings a lot of like a luster back into the leather, I feel like. And I gotta get these handles. The handles feel like very in need of moisture. Look at the back, it's like definitely not as shiny as the front. See that? Yep. I think that shows up on camera. So definitely wanna condition this up. I'm so excited. Like I'm like really just like gonna start crying in any second because this is so stinking cute. Um it was so much cuter than I thought it was gonna be. And it was actually a lot smaller too. I really didn't think it was gonna be um, this tiny. I don't really think I paid attention to the measurements um, too much, uh, but goodness gracious, this is definitely a sight to behold. So, um, yeah, this is the tiny mini, mini Fendi Peekaboo um, black gold hardware. Oh, I need to find like a really cute crossbody strap for it or something. Imagine this is so adorable. You can even just like carry it like in your hand, just like this. I don't know, my hands don't really fit inside there. Um, just like this. <laughs> but um, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I think I'm going to end the video here. I have a lot of work I still have to do. Um, I really want to get more items posted up in the shop. Thank you for everyone that like has been so patient. You guys are amazing. I did manage to get a couple things up today. And hopefully get even more stuff up tonight and tomorrow. Um, tomorrow is Friday. So I'm excited about the end of the week. On Saturday, we're going to go thrifting. Um, Sunday, we're actually going to... <coughs> excuse me. A family party. Um, I believe it's in San Diego. So that's going to be fun. Uh, Monday is John's birthday. And... To... Tuesday, um, we're having some family friends come over, so, um, definitely tomorrow I'll be filming the What I Got John for his birthday video, though it's not gonna be everything, cause I still have to pick up a couple other things, but, uh, it's definitely gonna be all the things that I've thrifted thus far, it's like, I'm gonna give him, like, a big box full of fun stuff, and then, um, I think I told you guys yesterday I wanted to go get him some t-shirts, and, um, I don't know, I think I might get him something else, too, so, I'm still, um, kind of on the fence and deciding what I'm gonna get him, because I don't want to get the same thing that my mom gets him, because I think we might be thinking about one thing that's gonna be the same, so I still have to discuss with her about that. Um, but thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me, I had a blast, um, we didn't get anything at the Goodwill today, but... Uh, that's totally fine. This came in the mail today, and this is all I need. I am so excited. Um, stay tuned for an, uh, a handbag, um, collection video. I know that has been one of, like, the, the videos that you guys really have wanted to see. So that's gonna go up very soon. Um, uh, I still need to film it. And, yeah. So thank you guys again so much for hanging out. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you guys enjoy these videos. Please give it a big thumbs up. It helps so, so much to try and get this video to 200. Um, and don't forget to tune in tomorrow. I'll see you guys then. Love you guys so, so much. Adios. Bye. Greetings and salutations, YouTube. It's Hayden here. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Welcome to a new video. As you can tell from the title, today is going to be a handbag rehab. But if you guys love thrifting videos, thrift hauls, vlogs, and handbag rehabs, don't forget to subscribe to the little bell button for notifications. And don't forget to check out my other videos. I'll have them linked in the top right-hand corner. Go to my Facebook and Instagram, it's Hadrian. Just like it's spelled here, and check out my shop at itshadrian.com where I have uh, my thrifted treasures for sale. And this item is actually going to be in that shop one 